Welcome to readtheticket.com. Today I'm going to talk about RTT Trend Power. This type of indicator has many names, depending on how you code it. It's been called Smart Money or the Bull Bear Indicator. Since essentially it's a price oscillator weighted by volume activity. What the indicator must do is show that demand pressure will be recognised by bars having increased volume with closes that are higher within the bar range. Supply pressure when uh, bars have increased volume with closes that are low within the bar range. And if price change is supported by good volume, then that indicator must move faster than when price change is not supported by volume. The indicator will support the tape reading law that is a healthy uptrend requires rising volume on the upswing and falling volume on a downswing if price makes higher highs and higher lows. This is obviously um, inverse for downtrends. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have the RTT trend power set to 121 periods. Between here and here, price is just rolling down. There's no signs of any bullish activity. There's no strong up bars with good volume. It's just wandering on down. I think they call this a meltdown. Um, but what we do, do see is a beginning of a pattern forming. As a dollar bulls bide their time for a breakout. We had a traditional wedgie type pattern. Now in a wedge pattern we uh, for a breakout you need uh, volume support. So this indicator price trend power or RTT trend power helps us to read um, price action relative to volume and measure the strength of that action. Now as we have it set to 121 what that means is basically a bar like this just uh, this bar here which is an up markup bar high close and the volume there this volume and this activity is compared to this average volume for the prior 121 days okay so the first sign of the bulls were back in town was this move from here to here now we know obviously we have, we can see visually that the volume jumped 100% compared to the previous days to show that people were taking on positions um, for a bullish market. Uh, bidding the price up basically against themselves or the big players. They stopped here and prices came down some more. Between um, here and here or above the zero line so that is still bullish activity as they were accumulating um, long positions. They um, somewhat took a break here obviously waiting for a news item to um, suddenly say, right, let's all go, let's go up. If I remember correctly, it might have been something to do with the Europe crisis and the funding of it. Confirmation came with the second wave of um, buying. This time, um, everybody joined on because uh, for the, um, you know, for the composite man, uh, the smart money to, to buy more uh, UUP uh, contracts, um, they had to move price up because not everybody... Um, Everybody started to agree with them that the price was going to go up. Here, there was disagreement. So bulls were buying, but also bears were selling. That reversed here, so price is motivated up. So at the moment, we start getting a the indicator showing higher highs and higher lows, mostly above the zero line, just as the price action does. Okay. Technically speaking, that's a Wyckoff sign of strength. It shoots up. Breaks the um, what's that? Breaks the breaks the creek. I would say it comes down for a test. It's the 50-day moving average. There's very very little selling between here and here. As you see, the indicator hardly moved down at all. The price volume oscillator, price fell, but this is remaining flat. So basically, all the buying that was going along here, they said they were not selling because they saw they um. They realise higher prices are coming in the future, and so they did. As the as the um, oscillator moves up, so did more buying as people finally caught on. So the real smart people start accumulating here, of the subswing and down here, and then the you know the second party guys came in here, and the really late party guys got in here. And as, as you know, I think price continues on up. So this indicator allows us to see the, whether there is strength in the market with the price action. 
quick overview on how to um, interpret this indicator is as follows. You are bullish when you're above the zero line. You are bullish when it is rising. And you're bullish when there's a channel um, forming. You are bearish when it's below the zero line. You are bearish when it's falling. And you're bearish when a channel is uh, uh, forming. Okay. You can use trend lines for pattern uh, breaks. That's great for timing. You can use divergences. It shows you that there's strength in the market, whereas the price activity isn't showing it, but the volume to price activity is showing it. To understand this indicator fully, you need to understand the Wyckoffian logic of price action. Ideally, what we want to see in a Wyckoffian logic trend is high volume on the upswings, low volume on the downswings, high volume on the upswings, and what have you. We also have to understand um, other Wyckoffian um, logic interpretations. For example, you might have a sell down on high volume, but price is not confirmed. I, that, that basically means it doesn't keep on going. So therefore, that could be that would have been buying activity. So the indicator would show it sell down. Um, you have to have to interpret it, the Wyckoffian logic, with the price volume oscillator, and all of a sudden you have a very powerful understanding of the relationship between volume and price activity and the range of the bar. I think I, I recommend I recommend the book called uh, Master the Markets by Tom Williams, or his first book called Undeclared Secrets of the Stock Market by Tom Williams. They can be found on the readtheticker.com education page. All right, Let's have a look at an example of um, SPY, or the S&P 500 ETF. Okay, here, I've, what we usually do, we take three settings, the 21, the 81, and the 121. At six months, four months, and one month. That just gives, gives us different sensitivities of the current bar compared to the previous, you know, 21 days, previous 81 days, the previous 121 days of activity. Now, we also use our trend status indicator. Now, the trend status indicator is not weighted by volume, so it's purely a price measure. So, for example, we have, have we have a very strong trend between here and here, as you can see the uh, oh, I should say a bit more carefully between there and there. As we can see, the, it's above the zero line. The blue line is just travelling up nicely. It's nowhere near the zero line. It's elevated. It's kept on going. We have um, some price sell down here. Price is sold down here. It gets a very interesting around about here. We have a sell down here, right? You know, the volume activity pieces off, but we're still in a strong trend. To me, that's a bit of a warning. So here we have price action going up, but really the volume on the on the downside is a lot stronger than the volume on the upside. Um, that is inverse to a healthy uptrend because what we want to see is rising volume on upswing, falling volume on a downswing. Here we've got rising volume on a downswing, and falling volume on an upswing. So. I'm, and the other, there's a few other things uh, on the market analysis where defensive stocks are rallying and other stocks like energy and technology are not rallying. So at the moment, we're, what, we're um, a bit cautious, a bit nervous about a bear market rollover. Or I should say a bull market rollover. Okay, that's how you use the RTT trend power. You use it to interpret the strength between the RTT trend status, the strength of the trend. You can use it for um, pattern timing. What did I? Yep. Yeah. What have you? This market was always very strong. It has the penetrations of zero by the 21 indicator. They're very mild. As you can see, there's not really a bear market here. This basically, when the blue when the blue bar, sorry, the blue line is above the zero line, that basically means you have more closes that are high in range and supported with good volume, than closes that are low in the range and supported by good volume. So that basically means 
you've got more buyers pushing prices up. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching the video. You can read more about RTT Trend Power on the website. Thank you.